Hey, my people, you tuning in with Major, with Major TV. Let's talk. Y'all know what I'm doing right now. Getting that cardio in. Trying to get tight and right. Today, when I get my walk on, I was thinking, you know, as y'all already know, I'm recording. This is why I'm doing exercises because I want to demonstrate to you all that yes, I'm on a healthy tip. And yes, I deal with some of the same things you all deal with as far as fighting with the eating habits and bringing balance, being consistent, working out, as well as staying centered and balanced. But also I want to show you I can do two things at one time. I can hold this phone in my hand call myself in the process as well as speech and exercise. As I was saying on live last night, we have to be multifaceted. We have to know how to do different things at the same time. When I get stuck on one thing. And of course, it's a process to achieving that. That's why you have to have order, you have to have a system. And you have to plan properly. A lot of times we are poor with time management, even myself. But now I'm getting back center. I'm not about to waste my time anymore. I miss out on valuable opportunities to teach, heal, build, and help. You know, because um, what I try to do in the community, I'm also help myself in expressing some of my current concerns and doing something as opposed to talking about it and speaking about doing something. That's the reason why I wanted to make this video. And I want to title it, just do something because something's better than nothing. And I'm picking back up the live last night where, you know, we hear a lot about peace, love, um, caring and sharing, um, a lot of things, right? And we talk about what can we do to make ourselves and our community better. And moving forward, how we can continue to progress and build. And it's simple. Just do your part, do something. A lot of us are not doing anything. And that's a problem. And a lot of us are really not applying ourselves. And I didn't say fully applying ourselves. I just say applying ourselves. Because we fully apply ourselves. Who knows how far we'll go. If I continue to go back into my study phase, because I ain't gonna lie to you. Um I'm not as a used to be reading a lot of books that I hear a lot of pro-black people talk about. I read most of those books. There's a few books that got by me. And that's the books I'm looking at now. Let me go back to some of the books I I read just for reference guide, right? Because once you read a book, you should not just read but study. You know what I'm saying? Just between reading something and studying something. You're studying something. Taking your time. You're looking at words you don't understand. Um, you're Googling, you're researching, looking at videos, what have you. You might even go to other books and, and read certain portions of the books in reference to what the author is saying or referring you to and what have you. And as well as going to other books and reading. You know, so when you're studying, it's a, it's a whole another process. But getting back to what I'm trying to say is, the way how I believe in my humblest opinion we have to plow ourselves. We just have to do our part. Too many times we sit around complaining and pointing fingers as opposed to just doing our part. See, I'm trying to work on not acknowledging the press as much as well as the issues that we see. Like how we unify behind the things that's not as important as opposed to unifying behind things that's important. If when we get in when we give energy 
two things that we have no control over. We have no control over what the enemy do. We have no control over people that's doing otherwise that's not a part of the movement as we wish they were. But my point is this. If you focus on you and what you can do, you never know who you may touch, who you may help, or who you may build or build. It always throw one person or a small group that multiply into many. The biggest thing when it does that, that the people in leadership have to keep the egos in check, make it about the people and stay humble. Always staying positive and keeping the creator in his heart, mind, and soul at all times. Being led by the spirit and not by worldly possessions. I did a video and I keep reiterating this video. Don't let your ego destroy you. That's real talk. We all have egos. And egos is nothing but a representation of self. You know. Who you are as a person. How confident, competitive. You may be, but at the same time, you know, we have to be mindful that sometimes our ego can become nasty, ugly, despicable, and very disrespectful. Okay, we all need confidence. We all need to believe it can be done. If you keep that higher spiritual source in your life first, that, 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 that engine that fuels the mental, the physical, emotional embodiment of yourself, that temple that you don't have to worry about. Let your ego or nothing you do distract people moving or yourself. I understand that when we speak and do things in our community, it doesn't mean that Everybody gonna get the message. Some people gonna disagree with you just because they don't like you. They don't have to have a reason why they don't like you. It's just what it is. Um. So for me, focus on the goal and the mission. What's the ultimate goal and mission? And for me, it's simple. Be one first. Our people. That's what it's all about. Getting our people out this detrimental, genocidal construct that they're under and lean more towards sharing and caring, building. Got the way. I'm not trying to get hit now. Lean more towards sharing and caring and building. And moving forward more than anything. So for me, that's how I'm thinking. And that's what's on my mind. I'm not looking at the negativity. I am an optimist, not a pessimist. I'm not negative. I am positive. You know what I'm saying? But, but, I can become negative. I can let that other source of energy come out. But I chose to keep that at B. But I will defend, I will protect. Minds. Real talk. As well as the people. That's why it's important that we do our part. That's what it's all about. We have to do something. Once we start doing something, that's all that, that's a start. And that's all it matters. I take that back. That's a start. And as we grow and real, we gradually go to Fully applying ourselves into the struggle and movement. 
we have to do our part. And that's all I want to really say. I wasn't trying to be magical in my words or or what have. I just was really trying to just speak to my people and let my people know that doing something is better than not doing anything. And too many times, you know, we're not doing anything. And a lot of times we know conscious, our conscious can be kicking us in our butt. We can know that um, we're not doing enough or it's not efficient or sufficient enough to really say we're doing anything, right? That's so significant. Shame on you. You should want to do better. You should want to do better for the sake of our community, considering all that we've been through, considering all we're going through, and considering how we still can't stand the same room together and agree, or rather disagree, argue and fuss, and never getting anything done. What that say about we as a people, that post traumatic slave syndrome, a slavery syndrome, is real, even in leadership. And I have to admit too, capitalism play a part too. Sometimes we have to be, because people can know better because of capitalism, because America offers you so many fake dreams, so many fake opportunities. And why I say it's fake? Because, all right, some black people they get through the cracks because they don't know how to navigate and really like, and really like achieve financial success, right? But same bread, our people suffer, and in a subliminal way, and sometimes directly. You know, but I'm gonna say indirectly. But it's like you better enjoy your individual success. If you cross over the other side of that home, them train tracks, and you go over there talking. That black talk and unity and we need to do this and we need to do that in our community. Then, um, we're going to shut you down. Because you, you have failed, you have failed to really, you really failed to really follow instructions. You know, and we see how easy, easy to cancel and shut black people down. A melanated people, or whatever name we chose to call us as a people, you know. So I'm just talking to my family, I'm just keeping 100. Um, that's all. So do something, y'all. Stay focused, stay on cold, and just be black. Peace. Oh, you fucked up that paper and now you feeling sick. Bro been hurting, we been hurting, niggas ain't on shit. And do another year of this.